everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to share my top three favorite budget brands of colored pencils with y'all. I'm gonna start the video off by sharing each of the colored pencil sets that are my absolute favorite. Then I'm gonna pull out some coloring books and I'm gonna show you some of the things I've colored with those specific colored pencil sets. And then I'm gonna pull out a sheet of scrap paper and we're gonna test each one of these sets for pigment payout and blendability. And if you don't already have any of these sets of pencils, hopefully this video will help you to decide which ones you would like to purchase, or if you're a beginner and you're just discovering my channel or just stumbling upon this video, hopefully this will help you to decide which colored pencil set you would like to start with. In the first part of the video where I share these pencils with you, I'm going to share the set that has the lowest price, and then we're gonna move to the ones that have the highest price and we're gonna go in that order. If you check the description box down below, I will have everything down there that you see in this video, making it much easier for you to find, as well as links for my Facebook group if you'd like to join us there, my email list, my Etsy shop, and my Patreon if you would like to support me there. So the first set I wanna share with you are my 120 Brute Fooner Squares. These pencils are absolutely wonderful. They are marketed as an oil-based pencil. They do feel very much like an oil-based pencil in their lay down, but they are softer than something like a polychromos. So if you're used to using something like a wax-based pencil and you wanna try out an oil-based set, this would probably be a great place to start. And these are extremely budget-friendly. These are the cheapest ones that I'm gonna share with you today. These are only $29.98 right now on Amazon for the full 120 set. And I absolutely love these. I do have a video where I put these into color family order so that you don't have to. I have the swatch chart right here. I also have this available in my Etsy shop. And I have a blank copy of this available in my Facebook group in the files section. And it is just a generic chart that you could use for any colored pencil set that you would like to. And does have the spaces for the number and the name. All of the names on these pencils have been translated. I'll let you see what these pencils look like. So they are a square pencil, which makes them very, very unique. And they have the names right here written in Chinese. And then they do have a number. This one is 009. And then if you turn them over here, they just say Brute Fooner on them. But they are a matte finish and they're very, very smooth and they are very nice to hold in your hand. So if you're concerned that them being square is going to cause you pain in your hand, you will probably be fine. Now the one great thing about this set is there are some very unique colors in this set that you're not gonna get in any other colored pencil set, especially another budget-friendly set. There are some colors that really stand out to me, like this color here, this lilac, is absolutely beautiful. It's not like your typical lilac that you would get in most other sets, like Prismacolor, or wherever you would find another color called lilac. It's going to look a lot more purple rather than like a mauvey pink tone, and that color is just beautiful. And then if we turn it over here, this set also has some of the most unique browns or shades of brown that I've seen in any other sets. For instance, this color heel here called Pink Pearl, that one is absolutely beautiful and it's very, very different. I've not seen anything else like that in any other set that I have. Maybe something similar in something like the Luminance set, but I do know that that set does have some very different shades of brown and unique shades of brown which I really really love but that set is quite a lot of money <laughs> and this one is not. There's also this salted caramel color right here which is absolutely beautiful as well and then this color here called cho chocolate hazelnut sauce which of course is a translated name it looks as though it has some purple in it it's very very unique you can see that you do have some very pretty greens this color here this mint ice cream it's absolutely beautiful and then you do get some olive greens as well but there are plenty of greens for coloring leaves if you like to stick to greens. And if you wanna color some really unique leaves, there are plenty of other colors to be able to do that as well. There's even more greens down here. If you wanna add blues to your leaves, you've got some blues here. There's plenty of colors to color flowers, beautiful pinks and reds and oranges. But this set is extremely unique. I love that they are square 
and they're just a really beautiful pencil. They've got the gold writing on them and they're just really, really gorgeous. But if you're looking for a great budget set, this one is a fantastic one to start with. The next set that I have to share with y'all is the Artezas. And I've not shared these for quite some time. One of my most popular or most viewed videos on my channel is a tutorial showing you shading and shadows and highlights with these Arteza pencils. And I used to use these a whole lot more. I'm gonna start using them again because they have finally come back on Amazon after being gone for the longest time. So I wasn't using them because I didn't want them to whittle away and then I wouldn't be able to get any kind of replacements for them. I was really, really worried because they are one of my favorite sets. A little further into the video, when I pull out some coloring pages and show you what I've colored with these pencils, I'll show you what they look like in a coloring book, but they are absolutely wonderful, and the way that they go down onto the paper is just absolutely amazing. These are wax-based. They are not as waxy as Prismacolor, so if you are somebody who uses Prismacolors and you don't like all of the wax and the shine that they create, then these would be a wonderful choice for you. Now these are a little bit more expensive at $68.99, but they do go on sale, they do post coupons, you can purchase them on Amazon when they have a coupon, or you could even check Arteza's website because a lot of times they will have sales on their website that you're not gonna find on Amazon. And what I really love about these pencils is to me they just really look classy. <laughs> they look very similar to something like a polychromos. Classy is the only word that I could think of using because that's just what comes to mind when I look at pencils like this. The Mark Arts look similar as well, but I love the silver rings on them and they do have light fast ratings on these, but again, these are a budget set from China, and I would not depend on the fact that these are actually light fast, but you've got the color number and the color name, which is one thing that I love about colored pencils. I love when we have both, and all of my swatch charts in my Etsy store are all made with the color name and the color number for pencils just like these. I don't have the swatch chart for these. I can't find it. I have one. I just have no idea where I put it but I'm gonna go ahead and just flip through here and you could see some of the colors, but there are some beautiful metallics in here. We even get a blue metallic in the 120 set. These are 120. They also do come in a 72 set. I started with the 72 set and I absolutely loved them and I had to have the 120 set. I do have these laying in here a little bit different than what I would normally do because I did this very long ago, but you get some beautiful yellows in here. You get some peachy tones and oranges. You get some pretty bright colors in very light, light pinks. You do get quite an assortment of reds. Here we have more of the pink shades as we get into purples. And then our blues, we get some beautiful shades of blue and quite a few of them. And you get a lot of greens in this set. So if we flip over here, we have a continuation of the greens. We do get lots of different shades of brown, some with orange in them and some that lean more towards red. And then you get your typical brown shades. We get our cool grays and we get our warm grays. And we actually have two different shades of black in this set. I would assume that one is a cooler black and then one is a much warmer black. These are the Black Widows and these are probably my absolute favorite set and reason being is because we now have 180 colors. Now I know that this video is about budget friendly sets and you're not going to go out and buy every single set of the Black Widows and be in budget. You're probably going to be over what you would pay for a set of Prismacolors. But the great thing about this set is that you can purchase them in sets as you can afford them. You can start here with the original Black Widow set. This was the very first set that was ever introduced and I now have all of these in here because these pencils have now been replaced to have the color dipped tip on all of the pencils to match the sets that were produced at a much later date. Now, if you wanted a full set with very minimal colors, there are 24 colors in here and you could purchase these for only $17.36. And in this original set, you will get all the colors you need to be able to color 
a coloring page. I started out with these as a beginner. These were my first budget set that I purchased off of Amazon. So these were the first budget set I purchased after I purchased my Prisma colors. And when I say after I purchased my Prisma colors, I only had 36 Prisma colors that I was working with. I also had a set of polychrome, polychromos. I did it a little bit differently than a lot of people. I purchased the smaller sets of the artist grade because I really didn't know any better. And I don't think at that time we had a whole bunch of these budget colored pencil sets available on Amazon at the time. Now we have so much to choose from. And that's why I'm doing this video because I want you all to be able to choose the right ones for you. Rather than trying every budget set available on Amazon, ordering them and then being disappointed and having to send them back or ending up with a pencil set you're never gonna use again. Now let me go ahead and pull this up here a little bit closer so you can see the colors that come in this actual set. Now I do have a swatch chart in my Etsy shop for these all in color family order if you were to have all 180 colors but if you were to just purchase just this set you're going to get all of the colors that you need you get quite a few yellows you do get a pink that looks like it's an orange and then this one looks more like a pink as well you get a red and then a purple and you get a couple blues you get some greens, another green down here, some browns, a gray, and a black. So in this set, you're gonna get a black and you're gonna get a white. And so you do get a very good color range in this set. And then after you have discovered that you really, really love these, and you want to grab another set, this was the next set that was produced, and so this would give you another 24 colors. And this set was a really great addition to the previous set. Of course, this set doesn't have the black and the white. You're just gonna get an array of colors that makes a really nice addition to the previous set. And here on the inside of the tin, these are the colors that do come in the set, so you can pause the video and get a really quick look at that. But these are the additional colors that you're gonna get to add to the original set. And this is the Cobra set. This one is a really nice add-on to the first two sets. You're gonna get some more grays. You're gonna get a beautiful dark, dark, bluish, purplish color here with this color called space. You're gonna get some more greens. You're gonna get another black that is lighter than the black that you get in the original set. And then you get some more reds, a couple purples, some more yellows, and these yellows are very different from the yellows that you get in the other sets. And then you're gonna get a couple more pinks. This fancy pink here, this is one of my absolute favorite colors. Of course, looking at the inside of the tins, this is probably not what the actual colors look like. So I'll hold this up so you could see the tips of the pencils. That will help to give you a much better determination of what the color's gonna look like when it goes down on the paper. But these are really, really nice. And in this set, you're gonna get the gold on top of the black on the barrels of the pencils. So these pencils are hexagonal. I've not have had any issues with discomfort when I'm coloring. I really, really love these pencils. And the fact that they are hexagonal, I think actually makes them a little bit more comfortable in your hand because these edges here on the pencil, they actually rest in your hand right on the top of your finger. So it's actually very, very nice. But you will notice that all of these pencils have a different color writing on them, so they're not all gonna look the same. There are also skin tone sets that you could purchase. There is a dark skin tone set and a light skin tone set. Here is one from the skin tone set. It's called Sunburst. It does have a gold writing on the black barrel. This one has SL, so this is from the Skin Light set. So this is from the dark skin tone set, and these also have the gold writing on the black barrel with the color dipped tips. So when you get ready to add on the skin tone sets, you can add those on for $12.87 each. And then there is the Monarch set and the Dragon set. The Monarch set has an additional 36 colors and the Dragon set, which is the most recent, has an extra 48 colors. So that makes the total of this set 180 colors. And so that is why, especially now, this is my favorite. Y'all, I have 180 colors to choose from. I don't know about you, but I love all the colors. <laughs> I want to have them all. So if you're on a budget, I would suggest just starting out with 
the first set and adding on as you can afford them. So even if you just started with just the first set and the second set, you would be getting 48 pencils for $34.72. And then just purchase the rest of the colors as you can afford them. But I have a ton of content on these Black Widow pencils on my YouTube channel and I will try to link the entire Black Widow playlist if I can in the upper right hand corner. I've got color combinations, tutorials, I've colored flowers. I just have so much on these pencils. I've done reviews, I put them in color family order, and I also have this available in my Etsy shop. This is all of the colors in my color family order. They're all separated out by color families and then separated into undertones as well from darkest to lightest. But I really, really love this set. I love my swatch chart. If you don't already have the swatch chart, if you have 180 colors, you could pick this up in my Etsy shop and you could pick it up blank or you can also pick it up already swatched out if you have a good printer that you feel is going to print your colors out pretty accurately and you don't like to swatch your pencils, then you may wanna go ahead and pick up the one that looks just like this. I have a couple coloring books here and I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that I've colored with these pencils. And then after I show you a couple of things that I've colored with these pencils, we are going to test out the blendability of these pencils on a scrap sheet of paper so y'all can see right before your eyes how they perform. Okay, so this is one of my favorite coloring books because I absolutely love the paper in here. And the paper in here works so well with so many different colored pencils. I've used Crayolas in here, my Brute Booner 120, my Artezas, my Prisma colors. I've used Polychromos in here. I've used so many different sets of pencils in here in this book, in any of the Maria Trolley books, and they all have worked very, very well. Now, this page here, this was colored with the Artezas. The tin jar here and the little frog. Those were both done with my Arteza pencils. This was not done with Arteza pencils. I think I was testing something out. It might be Derwent Ink Tents. This one here was colored with the Brute Funer 120s. I did this one in a question and answer series that I was doing, and I love the way that these pencils lay down in this book. They are just fabulous in this book. But these pencils blend together so beautifully, and if you want to try out your first oil-based set this would be a great place to start like I said there's some gorgeous colors in the set and some that are very very unique okay so now I have Johanna Basford's world of flowers and this is the page that I wanted to share with you. There is a full tutorial on this page. This was done with the Black Widows, and I love the way that it turned out. I've really tested these Black Widow pencils in quite a few tutorials, and this was one of them where I tried to put colors you would not even think would go together and see how well they blend. And looking at this flower here, I've got pinks with blues, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. Okay, so I zoomed you in just a little bit more so that you can see how beautifully those blended together, but these pencils have fantastic blendability. So do the 120 Brute Funer and the Arteza, but with the Black Widows, you're getting 180 colors. <laughs> and I know a lot of you are like me where you just want all the colors. So I feel like that's one thing that now makes the Black Widow set very, very unique. Not just that you have 180 colors, but that you can add on as you can afford it. And the blendability of them is absolutely amazing. And this is one of my favorite sets right up there with my Prisma colors. And y'all know how much I love my Prisma colors. And then I also have this one here. And this one was done in a video tutorial where I was really testing out the colors again. You see I was putting blues together with colors that are shades of oranges. And again, they blended together, just absolutely beautiful. I use these pages in World of Flowers as tester pages to test out lots of different pencils. This one here, I absolutely love the way this one turned out. This was also done with Black Widows. There is a tutorial on this one, and this one was also done with Black Widows as well. There's tutorials for both of these flowers on my channel. I will try to make sure that both of these are linked in the upper right hand corner. This one was actually how to color a flower using my three blend color combinations. I do have plenty of color combination videos for the Black Widows as well, but this was done using only three colors. 
and I wanted to just challenge myself and see what I could create using only three colors and I was really happy with the way that it turned out. Now it's time to take all three of these pencils and we are going to test the pigment payout as well as the blendability of all of these pencils. I wanted to do this third part of the video because I feel like this will help you decide which set you want to go with. So you've got lots of different options. I've shared all the pricing with you. I showed you what they look like in a coloring book. So now we're going to test the pencils side by side. So I just grabbed three colors from the Arteza set. I'm going to go ahead and do these first. I've got Moss Green, Absinthe Green, I'm not sure if I'm even saying that right, and then Lime Green. So let's go ahead and lay the darkest color down here first, and then the mid-tone, and then I have the highlight color. And then we'll go back over the darkest color one more time, and then we are going to finish up with the lightest color. Now let's go back the other direction. You can see with these that the pigment is going right down on the paper. They are blending together quite nicely and we are starting to fill some of the white of the paper here. But these are pretty pigmented pencils. Let me hold this closer to the camera so that you can see. But that is what they look like and I feel like they got a pretty smooth transition at each one of those transition lines. So let's go ahead and grab some colors for the Brute Fooner set. So I felt like it was fair to choose greens again. And I don't know that this color I'm using for my darkest color is all that dark, but you'll still be able to see how much pigment we are able to get down on the paper. So let's go ahead and start with the darkest color. And you could see that that color goes right down on the paper. And then we're gonna come in here with the mid-tone. And you could see right away that these are blending together very nicely. Let me come back here and do a second layer. And these colors are quite a bit different. I'm going from a very, very much darker color to a lighter color. So we're really putting these to the test to see how well they blend. I feel like these are blending together very nicely as well. And I'm not having to put that much pressure behind my pencil at all to get the color down on the paper. But I feel like they blended together pretty nicely and you could see the two right up against one another. And I feel like they blended about the same. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below on how you feel like these pencils blended together. Okay, so I have three colors from the Black Widow set. I have Toxic Green, Cicada, and one of my favorite colors, Passion. And we're gonna see how well these blend together. So I'm gonna start with the Toxic Green, and then I have the Cicada and Passion. Let's go ahead and get a second layer down here. And I can already tell you my opinion on these. As far as pigment payout, these are putting more pigment down on the paper right away than these other Brute Fooner and Arteza did. So if that matters to you, then you may like the Black Widows better. Of course, we did get quite a good amount of pigment payout with both of these sets and they did blend together beautifully, but I feel like the Black Widows are probably performing the best here. So I'm going to go over with a second layer and then I'm going to, I am so crooked today. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> so crooked. My goodness, I need to pull my Black Widows out and really work with these some more because I forget how wonderful they are when I've not used them in quite some time. I feel like these are blending together at the transition with much more ease. If I continue to just go over this here where these two colors are much different from one another, it's actually blending those colors out very nicely. I do have a few crumbs here, but I had some crumbs with this one and some crumbs with this one as well. But I'm gonna hold these closer to the camera so that y'all can make a determination on your own and decide which ones you like the best. And I left the crumbs on there so you could see which ones are the most crumbly. But it looks like the Black Widows are probably the most crumbly, but I feel like they are the softest. They are softer for sure than the Brute Fooner and the Arteza. I've never actually tested them 
right up against one another. I just know that when I use these three sets in coloring books, they are the ones that perform the best for me. If I had to rate them, I would probably go Black Widows, Arteza, and then Brute Fooner. Now to have the full set of the Black Widows, you are going to spend the most money, but you do have the most colors. You're getting 180 colors. With the Brute Fooners, you're getting 120 colors, and with the Arteza, you're getting 120 colors. There are 72 sets available in both of these, which you can get for cheaper, but at the price of the Brute Fooner, it really doesn't make much sense to do that, and I believe you're getting a bet better value with the Arteza as well if you purchase the bigger set. But you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments below as far as the blendability. I liked how the Black Widows went down on the paper. I feel like the Black Widows had much more of a pigment payoff using the same pressure that I used with the other two sets as well. But I do love all three of these pencils and they are all three great sets if you can't afford to run out and buy something like a set of Polychromos or a set of Luminance pencils or a set of Prismacolors. And if you decided to go with the Black Widows, the Black Widows are gonna give you a nice place to start because like I said earlier in the video, you could purchase those in sets and that makes it really convenient and it makes it much more affordable. And if you love Johanna Bassford books, the Black Widows work beautifully in the Johanna Bassford books like you saw in the previous part of the video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. You'll have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Also, let me know which one of the budget sets on Amazon are your favorites. I will see you all in the next video. I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy coloring. Bye.